I've had to redo this video several times already. Uh, I forgot to turn the mic on and I do have a note right behind my camera to remind me. Hi everyone, it's Red Herring. I'm so thankful that tomorrow is Friday. This week has been really odd for me. I think it has to do with the cold. My brain just doesn't want to work and I'm just constantly scatterbrained. This is my What I Wore This Month video for the month of November 2016. I did use five different brands of cups. Two of those brands, uh, I used one small and a large of that brand, and then the other brand um, is the same cup under a different name. But I'm going to uh, refer to those as one brand. I'm going to introduce the cup to you, give you some uh, details about why I liked it or why I didn't, and if I used a menstrual cup uh, while my husband and I had sexual intercourse, then I'll give some detail about that as well. Check the description below for any links, websites, or discount codes that I might have at this time. And if you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Before I begin, here is my calendar from the Clue app. It'll show you uh, when I started bleeding, when I stopped, how heavy I was, and all that good stuff. At the end of this video, I will also flash this calendar, but it will show which cups I used for which days. I did get my Bella Beat Leaf Urban, um, and it does have a period and ovulation tracker, but since I only entered November's period into it, uh, the algorithms don't have anything to work off of. The first cup that I used for my November period was the Skin Co. Cup. Um, I don't think that's the name of it. I think that might be their business or company name. This cup is a chibi cup from Alibaba or AliExpress, although I did purchase mine on Amazon. On the side of the box, they did refer to this cup as the Moon Cup, but since we have other Moon Cups on the market, I'm going to refer to this cup as the Skin Co. Cup. The shape of this cup is unique at this time at least um, and that is what drew me to this cup and it was fine. It has a good substance behind it, it folded fine, it inserted fine, and it was comfortable for when I wore it um, except for the stem. And if I were to use this cup regularly, I would just go ahead and chop off the stem completely. The thing that wasn't fine for me was that it's a cheapy cup, so I didn't feel comfortable using it for a long duration. I used it for two days. By the second night, I went ahead and took it out and got another cup. The next four days, I ended up using the Ruby Cup Small. I do have the medium Ruby Cup, but because I purchased it in a D stash, the stem was completely taken off and it looked like they filed or shaved down that little nub. And so with my high cervix, I had a really difficult time, time trying to remove that cup. Since I purchased my uh, small ruby cup directly from the company, it did have the stem intact and uh, I had a much easier time retrieving it. This cup folded easily, it inserted easily, and opened easily. It also was very comfortable, and since I was just on the line of having just spotting and a light period, the Ruby Cup Small was perfect for that time. People always say that they're worried about the stem because it does kind of look like a torture device. But um, I, can't, I couldn't feel these little bumps. They're not pokey or anything. The only time that I did actually feel them was with my fingertips when I went to grasp for that stem. My husband and I did have intercourse while using this cup. He didn't have any kind of comments about it. He didn't say he felt the stem or that the grip rings bothered him. I, on the other hand, had kind of a dulling of sensation. I would say that this allowed me approximately 75%. The next cup that I used was the Flex Cup and the Soft Cup, 
and these are the disposable cups but I just went ahead and washed it really well let one air dry while I um, inserted the other I wore these for three days off and on uh, between the two of them I'm gonna go ahead and put one down since they are the same cup it's just that they have a different color ring um, and I had a pretty difficult time with this one I could get it situated all the way until I needed to tuck that um, last part uh, um, up and around my pubic bone to hold it in place and uh, it just kind of didn't want to go and I gently had to force it um, to kind of bend over my pubic bone for it to open completely. After it was inserted, I went on with the night and every once in a while, like when I laughed or bared down in any way, uh, that part where the where it was tucked behind my pubic bone seemed like it would kind of open or get dislodged a little bit and there would be kind of like a burping feeling for lack of better words. I didn't feel confident while using this cup and I could constantly feel it when I moved around. I thought that I would have better luck with it this time around. Uh, the first time I used it was back in 96 or 97 and then again in 2000. Um, and I did end up having to throw away a couple of rugs at that time because it looked like a crime scene. And this time it kind of wasn't any different. Um, I thought I was going to be able to handle it a little bit cleaner and I wasn't. Um, when I removed it, this part was kind of, or the, the soft part was kind of flush with the rim and there was blood on the uh, bottom side. And like my other cups, I have a habit of um, after I insert them, I wipe them with a cloth to remove excess blood. I can't do that with this cup. Also, every time I used the bathroom, although I didn't leave any leaks on my underwear, every time I wiped myself, I did have some blood on the toilet paper. When I removed it to empty out my cup, um, it was a good thing that I always scooched my bum back on the toilet because when I would latch my finger and pull it, uh, the blood would just kind of gush out onto my hand, surpass my hand, and kind of spray onto the toilet as well. So I did have some cleaning up to do. I really wanted to try this cup in action. I know a lot of people do like these cups and they have success uh, with penetrative sex with it. Uh, and we just didn't ever have sex while it was inserted. After about three days of just not feeling confident and always worrying that I was going to leak, I wanted to go to something that uh, I could be comfortable with and not have to worry about. And so I did grab for my lolly cup. I wore this for a couple of days and my husband and I did end up having sex while it was inserted. And uh, it is the cup that has those channels in it I hope you can see there we go has these channels in it and it's kind of odd like if you put your finger on one of these channels and push it push down on it it kind of seems like it's sucking in your finger and I'm wondering if that's what he's feeling but he was like what what cup is that um, so that's the only thing I can think of uh, he didn't say anything about the grip rings he just said it felt a little odd not in a bad way and not in a good way it just felt different for me this is one of my favorite cups to use while having sex um, it gives me probably about 95 percent of my sensation so so far this cup um, allows me the fullest feelings um, of like not having a cup inserted I did put the flex cup back in just, you know, just to try it. Um, and at that point I was kind of over the whole thing. I didn't want to deal with it for the rest of my period. So I did go back to the lolly cup again for one day. And then that day, um, or the next day, sorry, uh, my Lena sensitive uh, version came in. So I wanted to try those out. 
The Lena Cup Original in a large gave me a lot of cramping even after I removed the cup and so I couldn't use that cup. Um, I did try it a couple of times to make sure it wasn't just, you know, a coincidence. It was every time I, uh, I inserted that cup. But the small Lena Original worked fine for me. In fact, I like the small uh, Lena Original while I have uh, sex. Uh, it, the firmness of it and the size of it presses in a good spot, which gives me extra sensations. So when the Lena Sensitive came out, I was curious to know if the large was going to cause me any cramping or not. I'm happy to report that it did not cause me any cramping. It inserted fine. It uh, popped open fine. I thought it was going to be a little harder to open because it seemed really soft. In actuality, it's not that soft. It's not the softest cup that I have. Um, so. It just it, it inserted fine, opened fine, and it was nice and comfortable. My husband and I did uh, have some action with this cup, and uh, sadly, it dulled a lot of my sensations. I would say that it took about 50% of my, uh, my feeling away. And as for my husband, he didn't care for the grip rings on this cup. He said that uh, he could feel the grip rings on this cup probably more than any of the other cups that we tried out. And it was kind of like it was chafing him. So the grip rings on the Lena cup, it has a straight edge or a straight area and then um, it rounds over kind of like stairs it's straight and then it rounds over and it's straight and rounds over so there's three of those and i think just the size of this cup uh, made it so that he was more aware of those grip rings near the end of my period when i started to get really light and then spotting i just continued to use the Lena cup sensitive but in the small size Again, it was comfortable and easy, and uh, I didn't have any problems with it. Well, those were the five brand of cups that I used for my November period. And here is my clue calendar to show you which cups I used for which days. I am going to open up my next What I Wore This Month video and uh, let you pick a cup or a couple of cups uh, that you might want me to try. Maybe um, there is a cup that I might have used for one day and then I uh, did a video about it but didn't really go into detail or maybe you want to see if my perception changed of it or maybe another cup that you haven't seen me use or talk about yet because there are some cups up there that I have never used before. Depending on how many uh, comments I get about using a cup, I will pick a few. Um, I don't want to go over five because I don't want to make too long of a video, um, but I will try them. I can't promise that I'll use them for more than one day. It kind of just depends on how that cup works out for me for that day. So until I see you next time, happy cupping and take care.